Hey guys, welcome back again to another video. Today we're out at Clear Creek, Colorado, once again. But this time, we're not going to be prospecting the creek. We're actually going to be prospecting Home Depot, as you can tell from the title there. And um, what I did is I bought three bags of 50 pounds of sand from Home Depot. Now, if you've um, ever seen Jeff Williams, Ask Jeff Williams, it's a YouTube channel. And um, I think somebody else did it too, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to do it today, and we're going to see if it's we're going to see if it's true. We're going to see if there is gold in these bags of Home Depot sand. So this way, anybody in the country, I have a lot of comments asking, I you know, where can I go prospecting for gold in my part of the country? Well, I always tell them a Google search is your best bet. However, if you have a Home Depot nearby, um, you might be able to go prospecting right in your hometown. These are the three bags of sand. It's 150 pounds, 50 pounds each of the all-purpose quickcrete sand. Uh, I looked at the back and it says Atlanta, Georgia on it, but I don't know if that's where the headquarters is or where the sand actually comes from. The manager of Home Depot did not know the answer to that question. So I don't know where this is from, but we're gonna find out. I have a gold pan to, uh, to find out if we got any gold, but first I'm gonna run it through the sluice box here in the river. I've got a shovel I'm gonna use to, sh to scoop it in. To this end and right here is the area where I'm gonna put my sluice box like right in here looks like somebody's been here before uh, I just gotta straighten this dam up a little bit open it up a little bit we'll set the sluice box right there now we'll get the sand here panned out and we'll see if there's any gold in it all right guys I hope you enjoy the video Here, if you're wondering how much the sand costs for the three bags, uh, it cost me ten dollars and eighty-two cents. Most of you guys probably already know this, but if you ever salute using the sluice box, you see this buildup starting to happen. Um, what that means is, if I do dump gold in here and it gets past these riffles, it's going to go right up and over that. I mean, right now I'm okay because it'll get trapped behind this riffle or the next one or the next one. But as you can see right now, it kind of cleared itself up. Uh, yeah, you don't want to go too fast when you're dumping the sand in because you could actually lose some gold doing it too fast. Just finished the first bag. Uh, you can see, you can see there is black sand built up behind these riffles here, especially right there. Can't really see it here because of the water, but, um, I think there may be little tiny flakes of gold in there. It's really hard to see from here, but we're gonna wait until later to find out for sure. Matter of fact, I think maybe right in there. But uh, we'll have to take a little bit of a closer look a little bit later. All right, let's get on to the second bag here. All right, this is the end of the 150 pounds. This is probably the last five pounds of it. Um, you can see here in the riffles, we got a lot of black sand behind the riffles. I don't know if you can see that or not. And in here, there's a couple small little pieces of maybe gold, but we're not gonna know for sure until we pan it out. So let's finish this up. Uh, then we'll clean out the sluice box and we'll pan, it, pan down the concentrates. This took a while. This took a, about an hour. And as you can see, the riffles are pretty full. So, 
That's actually a good sign. All right, let's finish this off. We'll just pour this in there. That's it. That's everything. All right, so we're going to wait just a minute, let this clear out a little bit, and then we're going to the next thing you'll see is me cleaning the sluice box here. You can see we have some black sand here. Make sure we clean all that up. This thing is completely full of black sand. It's pretty clean. So in here we have our concentrates, everything that was uh, left over in the sluice box. So we're gonna take everything in here. We're gonna take everything in there and put it in the pan and we're gonna pan it down. Now I shouldn't have to classify anything because it was only sand. A lot of these concentrates like to stick inside the bucket, so take some water and it's on an angle, tilt it down, just throw some water up in there, comes right out. And remember to get every last little bit because that's what counts. That's where most of the gold probably settle at the very, very bottom. Okay. Here we have everything left from the sluice box. Let's pan it down and see what we got. Wow, lots of black sand. Make sure you stratify it really, really well because this is all heavies and you need to move it around a lot for that gold to drop to the bottom. We're in no rush. If you guys haven't watched um, my separating gold from black sand video, I'm using the same method as I uh, demonstrate in that video. All right, we're pretty much down to the end. I think we're gonna start swirling it around. Hopefully that sun glare isn't too bad. Maybe if I turn the other way. And hopefully that's not too bad. Wow, I'm finding a lot of garnets in here. Um, I'm surprised. I mean, this is the first time I've ever tried panning sand from Home Depot, but you may be able to pick those out. Little red dots, those are garnets. I don't see any gold yet, but we won't until the end, or at least closer to the end. Okay, I do see a piece of gold. You may be able to pick it up in the on screen, but it's right there. Keep your eye right there. See that little shiny piece not moving? Maybe not. Might be because uh, the GoPro is not that great for, for this, but we found a little tiny bit. Let's keep going. I'm not worried about saving it just yet. I kind of want to get to the end to see exactly how much we have at the end there. I'm going to shake it down a little bit. 
that piece is still right there. Now it's down here. Alright, we're at the very end here. Let's see if we got anything. Okay. I do see a few little pieces. Let me tap it up and then I'll get the zoom in for you guys. Yep. Alright. All right, so here it is. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and show you exactly what we got. If I can see it on camera here, it's very little. Very small amounts, you see them right there? Little shiny pieces, little tiny flakes. Um, that is the gold that I got out of 150 pounds or $10 worth, $11 worth of Home Depot sand. So, in comparison to the culvert pipe video, I think I got a little more out of the culvert pipe, to be honest with you. Um, the good thing, though, I didn't spend any money on the culvert pipe, although it was a lot more work. All right, guys, that's it. 150 pounds of sand from Home Depot, and we got about 10 cents worth of gold. Now that may or may not be worth something to someone in a state that doesn't have gold in their rivers. Like I'm lucky, I can come here to Clear Creek and dig a hole right here at my feet and find little pieces of gold. But um, if you live in a state that doesn't have it, you can go down to Home Depot and you can pick up a $4 bag of sand, pan it out in your backyard in a tub or something like that and maybe find a little tiny specks of gold. Now, I wouldn't recommend it, I would actually recommend going online, search, Google search for um, gold pay dirt, something like that. And uh, a lot of mines offer little bags of pay dirt. And you can buy them. Some are more expensive than others. And from what I understand, you actually get what you pay for. Sometimes you get more than what you pay for. Um, but that's what I would recommend doing. Um, keep your eyes open, by the way. I have a video coming up of some really expensive pay dirt that I bought. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna pan it out and I'll show you guys how much I spent, how much it's worth and all that stuff. But also I want to thank you guys, uh, especially my subscribers. I just hit 2,000 subscribers recently. And also I have patron, uh, a Patreon page. I have uh, donators on that. Also I have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Find me on there. And enough promoting myself. Oh yeah, give me a thumbs up if, if you enjoyed the video. That's okay, that's the last one. All right, thanks, bye. All right, so this is just some quick bonus footage. I'm still here at the site. Um, I just sucked up the gold into my sniffer bottle there. What I wanna do is just, out of curiosity, I'm gonna fill up this gold pen with random just dirt at my feet and see if I can get as much or more gold uh, than I did from those 150 pounds of sand from Home Depot. So, let's pick a spot over here. Um, let me dig down a little bit right here and we'll take a little bit of dirt from right here. I'm not even really digging deep. It's, I'm just kind of... Just grabbing dirt and rocks. I'm not even going to classify it. 
Just because, why not? Okay, this is good enough. We'll pan this down and see what we get. First, we'll wash it all off, take the big rocks out. Knock all that dirt off of these rocks. As everybody knows, the gold likes to stick to the big rocks. I want to sit on my bucket. That ain't gonna happen. Here we go. Just washing rocks, it's all it is. Using gravity to get the gold to the bottom of the pan by shaking it up. You see that? Turns it into a slurry. All the heavies drop to the very bottom. All right, I think it's pretty safe to pick some of these big rocks out. We're getting down to black sand. Now you guys saw how much I scooped up. It was one pan full of material. That's all it was. And we have quite a bit of black sand. See, this stuff is sticking together up here. That's no good. That means I wasn't shaking it up enough. Okay, we're getting down to it. This is why classifying is important, everyone. Um, when you classify it, all these big rocks aren't a problem. Like right now, I have to go in and pick them out. I don't know if I'm grabbing gold with them. I'm trying not to. Like when I pick up a rock, I kind of pick it up and wash it off a little bit like that, you see? Like I'll pick it up Moving over here and wash it off so the gold drops off if there's any gold stuck to it. I'm not just picking the rocks up and throwing them out. I'm actually rinsing each individual rock. It's important. All right.
That's a cool looking rock. It's green. Any rock nerds out there know what that is? All right, I think we're done. Let's swirl it around, get a little bit of water in there. Good. Look at all that black sand from one, one pan full. I should grab my other camera. You can see better with that one, but I'll make sure I show you guys exactly what I get. Don't worry. Calm down. Don't see anything yet. But we ain't there yet. Okay, I see one little piece. Very tiny piece. Oh yeah, right in here. Yeah, so we got a lot more gold. Let me get the camera. doing this live, sort of. Okay, right here you can see, I'll zoom in. Oh, I can't even see it. Oh, it's because it's blurry. Okay, let me get in close. Right there. See right along the, the corner right there, those little pieces. And that's not bad for one, one pan full, right? It's better than what we got from 150 pounds of Home Depot sand. So, yeah. There you go, a little bit of bonus material. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.